people are mad funny. <laughs> I can't with y'all. Like, that shit's just too funny. The comments that are being dropped in my comment section. <laughs> I'm dying over here. It's hilarious. <laughs> Thanks for the laughs. Thanks for the laughs. Appreciate it. How's it going? How are you? What's going on? I just smoked right now. I went outside on my patio. It's a little cool outside. It's definitely cloudy might sprinkle a little bit not sure let's check the weather mm. 64 degrees let's see tomorrow it's supposed to rain um, showers tonight with a low of 44 20 percent chance of rain hi Leticia how are you? Hello. Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. Tomorrow it's supposed to rain. So it's gotten cold again here. Don't like that. I don't like the cold. Um, I was able to make it out and um, take care of some business over the weekend. And it was nice enough for me to wear like a spaghetti strap type top um, that evening, but I did wear jeans. Good, good. That's amazing. I'm glad to hear that. Glad to hear that. I am great. I'm getting better. <laughs> I should say, I'm getting better. I'm always great in the cabeza. <laughs> I am so high right now. I smoked about half a blunt. Oh, thank you. I was playing with my makeup today. I was just trying different techniques. And I think I'm like um, leaning more and more towards not wearing makeup anymore. Like... I learned how some makeup companies make their products. Like they boil insects just to get the color red. Uh, it's just, it's not, ugh, it's gross. So, I don't know. I just like slapped on, like just lathered on makeup today and just played a little bit I didn't do all the steps that I should have done and like if you're if you see me in person I mean it's not bad but it's questionable I mean I can go out like this I would still need to finish my eye makeup but yeah it's there it's so gross it is so disgusting I'm like ooh. But then, but then I think like how, um, like they used to make, um, their makeup and like war paints and stuff like that back in the day, they probably did like use those same, same methods, you know what I'm saying? To achieve these colors. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I'm kind of like on the fence about it because I am about, you know, using, you know, what we have on this earth as resources. And, you know, <laughs> if bugs have to die <laughs> for a little bit of color, I mean, I mean, that's what our ancestors did. And you know, different cultures around the world. So, <laughs> you gotta smash a few bugs, <laughs> throw some 
thugs in a boiling pot? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> like, who am I to judge? <laughs> I need to take some medicine. My back is kind of kind of irritated just because I've been sitting on the floor um, doing my makeup here. I um, had some shelves put on my wall right here so I can just like have my little makeup stuff put together and not in a bunch of bags and whatnot temporarily. I'm gonna be moving soon. I might even be moving out of the city. Oh, thank you. I know. That sucked. That was scary. That was scary. I still cry about that. Like, that was scary. Scary as fuck. Very, very scary. Do people, <laughs> I don't know who it is, it's hilarious. Hey, aunt, what's up, bro, bro? Bro, bro. Yo, people have me dying in my comments on YouTube, like on my videos. Like there's just this one troll or something, like swears that I'm not Chinese, says that I'm a librarian. <laughs> And all kinds of stuff like it's just like where do they come up with this shit where do they come up with it I don't know but it's fucking hilarious and it's even more hilarious after you smoke half a blunt which I just did. I feel amazing, by the way. Pretty, pretty spectacular. I'm good, thank you. How are you, bro? Um, Phoenix, possibly. Possibly, possibly. Got super stuff going on. I can't wait to like break bread with y'all. Chill. Vibe. Smoke the fuck out. My eye is leaking. Or it wants to leak. It's trying to leak. I don't want to use any tissue because I don't want any like lint going into my eye and making my eye scratchy and irritated and then it'll make my eye tear more they're so red my eyes huh fuck like I would probably need sunglasses to speak to um, my parents right now <laughs> just kidding they don't mind me looking like this. I try to, I try to like, I offer it to them. Like, yo, come smoke a blunt with me. <laughs> mom and dad, yo, let's do it. I want mom and, I want mom and dad yelling, team smoke, team smoke. <laughs> yo, I'm going to get, I'm going to get a clip of them doing that and, and I'll send it to you. I'll have mom and pop, mom and pop shout out. Team smoke, team smoke. <laughs> That'd be dope. And they'll do it too. They're so cute. They're so fun. They just celebrated um, 49 years of marriage on the 27th of February. Shout out to mom and dad. They some kick-ass parents. <laughs> I... <clears throat> yeah. They were meant. Like, I just... I spoil my parents as much as I can. They're just so amazing. Like, 
just the just it's fun doing things for your mom and dad you know just just because you can you know it's really fun to me they are they're so adorable yo like the little things that that my parents do like my mom she's short like me and um like when we sit in like a chair like we can pretty much cross our legs and like our leg like our feet will dangle like in the chair because we're short <laughs> but i always catch my mom doing it and she looks so adorable when she does it um so i got her on video a couple months back and i was like look look my mom she's she's cute she's really cute i love my mom love my dad <laughs> but yeah they're 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 great parents they make me who i am yeah they make me smile <laughs> What's up, FTR? How you doing? They thought, um, they were saying that because I was getting trolled last night on the TRBRC um, chat, um, that they they thought it was you that was trolling me. I was like, FTR would not troll me like that. Like, no, that would not happen. I know better. <laughs> How you doing? Oh, are you? I smoked about half a blunt a little bit ago and I just came on and <laughs> I got some notifications that some troll is like dropping some funny ass comments on my YouTube videos and he just has me dying laughing over here. Hilarious. Hilarious. And it's even more funny because I just smoked. What did I smoke? I smoked some... Let me find out what I smoked. Um, Kush City. Commerce Kush City. What's kind of funny here? Let me take some out of the bag. Um... It's really pretty. That's what it looked like. Pretty. Yeah, actually, I I think it was a a BRC troll that came came on over to my to my channel. Fucking hilarious, dude. Hilarious. People are just weird. I take no offense. Like, like I don't judge your ignorance. Uh, let's see. I can't. I can't because then I'm going to get a copyright strike. I'll do it after I'm done. Um, it does. It is. <laughs> it's fire. Yeah, it's really good. Very good. Very, very good. You guys, I tried to get up, like, when I was getting myself ready to, like, sit here and, and go on live I went to get up and I stepped on my fucking hair when I was getting up I almost gave myself whiplash <laughs> fucking insane are you listening to me Mikey. are you listening to me Maria? No, I'm laughing cuz this oh. bitch is crazy like she's girl she's I'm funny oh I'm sorry that's Real quick, she's okay. funny as fuck. She, she was just talking about, she's into the Bible and stuff. She's into that. Mm -hmm. People think tarot shit's like evil. Anyway, she was, she's just talking about King David. She's like, they say the Bible, he was fine as fuck. She's like, well, they didn't say he was fine as fuck. <laughs> 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 I, 
<laughs> That's what I'm laughing at. Okay, I'll be back. Um, I was, um... But you're lying. Oh, no, <laughs> yeah, oh, crazy. yeah, I'm on day, but... I forgot I was sick. I was oh, I brought this in in case I'm so fucking high. I'm I forgot what I was going to tell you. <laughs> Look at me. Are you? Phone. <laughs> pay, look at I'm walking up the stairs I'm like this. Dude. Uh-huh. I brought it up so it doesn't blow away. Yeah. I'll be over here. All right. <laughs> Are you a dustpan? You know what? The kids were looking for it last night. Huh? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, definitely trolls from BRC. That shit was fucking, or it still is because the the um, messages are still coming through. Look at watch. Let me see. What are they saying? She's cleaning up her stuff out there. Um. Yeah. Do you got, let me, if not a quarter, then I'll take some ibuprofen, dude. I fast, like it feels better, but I'm all slow motion and shit. Ugh, ugh. All right, Here. 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 You don't know what a dustpan is? No, the kids were looking for it last night. Probably in one of them. Don't, uh, you know what? Hold on a second, guys. <laughs> I forgot. I was hot. I'm still high. <laughs> Yo, I'm fucking high. This shit is bomb. That's dope. That's pretty fucking dope. Anyway, um, a whole lot just <laughs> a whole lot just happened and I was telling you guys all about it <laughs> but you gonna hear a word um, so this weirdo commented Mei Ling Pretty flower 2618 stop sliding in my DMs. You ain't thug enough, sugar. Like, the fuck does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? And then he was commenting earlier, yeah, saying, um, oh, because he commented like some weird shit last night like some violent stuff and like that shit doesn't bother me like whatever but i don't know if youtube caught it or what i did not report it i did not delete it i don't give a fuck so um this morning he he commented he says you can delete 
my message is all you want. You're a librarian, not a thug. <laughs> I'm fucking dead with people, yo. Dude. Like. Yo. 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 <laughs> I'm a librarian, apparently, because I guess the way that I speak is you know and i don't interact with like in unintellectual conversations i i don't know but <laughs> give you that body high they don't like all the like you lose a lot of the terpenes when you are creating the the product to vape so if they can get it just right you know what I'm saying like but I still love burning the flower like over the weekend I kind of lost interest in smoking like, I was like, meh, I didn't want it. I was just like, eh. nah, nah, nah. <laughs> so last night, I was like, you know what, fuck that. I'm going to smoke myself out and remind myself how fucking amazing it does make your body feel. So I smoked myself out, and I fell asleep. I felt pretty good. So I smoked more today. The troll seems like he's been dropped on his head as a baby. Seems like something's wrong. I don't know. It's okay. I don't try to figure people out. They just fucking make me laugh. That's it. So yeah, as I was getting up from this position, like trying to stand up, I fucking stepped on my hair, gave myself whiplash the fuck I swear I'm I am very um I have problems like running into things and like hitting my head on stuff and <laughs> I'm clumsy very clumsy I could trip on solid ground on air yeah but I have amazing balance I have impeccable balance I really do <laughs> Fun little useless fact about me. <laughs> I um my hair was so frizzy today, so I got the straight iron the or the flat iron. What's the difference between a straight iron and a flat iron? Don't they do the same damn thing? Anyway, my hair is like pretty decent now. It's like nice and like smooth silky once again um typically i don't um put any heat in my hair all i do is shampoo and condition and let it air dry i don't wash it every day i wash it every second third sometimes fourth day depending on how greasy it gets um but yeah it takes a lot oh thank you it takes a lot of time to wash my hair and condition it it's it's a job it's a chore <laughs> i don't know how much longer my arms are gonna put up with it but i've been getting myself stuck like like I've been sitting on it, I've been stepping on it, I've been kneeling on it. <sighs> That's why I like to keep it up in a bun. 
Like I had a barrette in it today towards the back, but I'm still having issues with the length and it getting caught. This is how I tie my hair. I don't use any like rubber bands or anything either. I tie it to itself. Just like that. Sounds like she found, oh no, that sounded like the back. Something fell. What that is. She's um, cleaning up her stuff. That's my friend, my good friend. She's chilling here, helping me out for a little bit just because I had oh, that <laughs> recent um, hospital admission again, the emergency admission again. So, so I have her helping me out for now, which is great. I really like it and the kids really like it. She's been here for a couple days already. <laughs> Behind the scenes. Yeah, dude, I jump in the car and like I have a good like this much dangling out the car door like and I end up getting like yanked back like whoop. Well, I have to open the car door, grab my hair and then shut the fucking door. And I drive through the city like that before I realize that my hair is stuck in the door. <sighs> yeah, very awesome. Great to have amazing people in your life that you can trust, you know? Hey, Matiera, how are you, gorgeous? Hola, hola. Hola, hola. Yeah, it's pretty cool to be able to have um, people in your life that you can trust and um, that can help support you through some shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's it's um, it's being reciprocated. Like, there's some stuff that she's going through also. I'm okay for right now. Um, my back is a little irritated just because I've been sitting here. I sat here and I did my makeup earlier off camera and then I came to sit here and chat now on, ca um, on camera. So my back's a little irritated, but I'll get up in a little bit. I'll get up in a little bit. She's making some soup, some albondigas. It's meatball soup, but um, I, been like shying away a lot from red meat and ground beef and stuff like that so we used ground turkey in place of the ground beef and it is so much cleaner and healthier and yummy and just like it is so good it doesn't make you feel bogged down and but yeah albondigas it is tonight Red meats are just disgusting. I mean, not that any meat is great. Like, who wants to eat decaying flesh? You know what I'm saying? That's what the hell it is. Like, like of any kind of... It doesn't have any properties that benefits us. That benefit us. So... So anyway, um, I've, I've been doing a lot of... But I've been doing a lot of ground turkey and chicken and stuff like that. Um... A couple of weeks ago, I got a big ass brisket, like a huge, like it took both hands to like just really lift up this fucking heavy ass brisket. But anyway, I cut it in half and I made half of the brisket. Tell me that motherfucker was so juicy, so delicious, so yummy, so savory, just 
packed with flavor. And then I felt like I was poisoned. My stomach was in fucking knots. My whole body, it felt like I had the fucking flu. It was just, I was achy. I was in pain. I was, it was just awful. I was swollen. And because I, I right after I ate the fucking brisket, the next day, sick as fuck. Vomiting. Like, ugh, yuck. Yuck. Haven't eaten it again. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm eating a lot more um, vegetables as well. Mushrooms. Mushrooms are yummy. They're so hearty. You can chop them up and, like, you can, like, it presents as ground beef. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's so many, and it tastes so much better, and it's just the texture of mushrooms is just yummy. So... But I've been um, managing to gain some weight despite the um, change in, um, in, what is it, diet? I want to say diet, but yeah, diet, I guess, the change in diet. Yes, meat substitute, absolutely. Um, my neighbor, like a few, na like a few neighbors ago, um, but we maintained our friendship anyway before she moved to California. Um, she had become, you know, with like the meat free um, household and whatnot. And um, she made me some spaghetti one time with some fucking mushrooms, like just chopped up. Like, oh my God, that it was so good. I was like, shit. Like, why? haven't I done this before <laughs> it was yummy vegan chili uh, vegan Philly steaks yum yum I can tell that even dairy products are like because I've been very few and far between will I eat dairy but um I can tell when I do it's like mm -mm, that's not the that's not it sis that is not it Definitely not it. What are you guys doing today? How was your guys' this weekend? What did y'all do? Does it give you anxiety? Really? I never thought that. I never thought to correlate the two. But I believe it. Wow. It's so disgusting what the government approves to be consumed as food. Like, hmm. Hmm. You know? Like, we don't need milk from a cow i put my pajamas on because i got cold it's it's um cloudy and it's gonna be rainy tomorrow i got so fucking blazed you guys i went out this weekend well not with the intention of like going out to blah 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 it was for business and uh, that's pretty cool. Ooh, nice. What options? What are the options? Drop the names in the in the comments. FTR. I want to know the names. I want to see the options that you have. The case in and the case in. And dairy is like a drug once I cut it out. I haven't had one since. Wow. You won't order today, but you'll type them out. Okay, cool. That's crazy. Yeah. I, ugh. Like, 
I wasn't big on dairy to begin with. Like, once in a while, I'll crave fucking ice cream. Or once in a while, you know, I'll have a little bit of cheese or or some ranch dressing or, you know, something like that. Um, but not typically. Like, I can do with without cheese on my burger. Uh, sometimes I crave it, but then I'll just get half the cheese. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just varies, but it just... I don't like it. I'm not a big dairy fan. Um, I don't drink milk, didn't drink milk um, since I can remember when I was young. I used to fucking refuse it in the cafeteria. And back then, I was in Catholic school, you know, in for elementary school. And back then, they forced you to fucking eat everything and drink everything that they served you. So, it was, ugh, I've had plenty of moments vomiting, fucking just milk, and so it was never a pleasant thing for me. So, even drinking something that resembles milk, it just kind of just, it's that psychological disgust. I was traumatized. Milk is disgusting anyway. So, I'm glad everybody is now seeing that milk is fucking gross. <laughs> White Widow, oh, get White Widow. White Widow is good. You will not be disappointed. Um, chemical push, mango sherbet, crystal coma. Mmm, that's an addiction to cravings you got. Uh huh. Exactly. I know. Blue dream, yum. Okay, okay. Blue widow and Kush berry sound really good too. Sound very nice. Very nice. I should have got a pillow so I could s throw it under my ass. Blue Dream is a classic. Yeah. White Widow. Yes, White Widow is so yummy. It really is. You won't be disappointed. You know what? You can check out. Um, What's his name? Um, Young's page. Let me see. Let me find Young's page and I'll I'll type it in the comments. He does um, reviews, and he like he he knows the no about the no. Oh, um, about um, about flower. So you guys go subscribe to him. This is young. He is so he's extremely um he's very well versed um in and, and knowledgeable with um marijuana so it's a legendary strain also may any where i can get corrupts moon rocks well i can teach you how to make corrupts um, moon rocks so that you don't necessarily need to have corrupts you can have your own um it's very simple Very simple. Hi. Awesome. Good job. Yeah, he's he's very knowledgeable in um in the flower. And he does reviews. He and he gives like he always has well the majority of times he has a couple of strains on deck where he's testing out right there on you know, right there for you. He does premieres, he you know, throws them up as premieres, so you have time, you know, we have a little countdown come in and then his video plays like he's, it does, he does really, really, really well. So I really enjoy, um, learning from young, young P3Js. That's how you say his name, young P3Js. And he does music, like you should check out his music. He's been on some of the smoked out, um, series marathon og no i don't know that i don't know and yeah i know that's nipsey strain i don't know 
I've never, I haven't seen it here in Tucson, but I wasn't really looking for it. I, um, I was not um, listening to Nipsey like that before he passed away. Um, you know, I knew about him. Yeah, I've, I've heard his music, but it was like, it was not, like that was just not my era or generation. So, you know, respect to him, rest in, rest in eternal paradise, you know. Um, but I'm not a, I'm not a hype beast type of person. Yeah. So, I, I, yeah. Respect to all that have gone before us, though. R.I.P. Kobe, Gigi, everyone. Pop Smoke, my gosh, that's a lot. Yeah. I'm gonna um, be speaking to two different um, dispensaries out here um, to create my own strain. So, yes, all of them. Yo, did you catch any of the Battle Rocks this weekend, FTR? I did a, a live um, commentary, like review, on TRBRC last night um, with YMF and Flint. Um, the app wasn't working, but towards the end, the um, caffeine ended up dedicating all of their servers to URL, and it... Um, it picked back it picked back up so um, by the time I click back in so I watched the very first battle and I watched the main event which is twerk versus Gigi Gotti so those two battles I did watch um, in their entirety um, and during the the twerk Gigi battle it was seamless you know I and I came back in when um, they were introducing them to the stage so, yes, Chess and JJ, mm-hmm, yep, and, um, did you see, um, like, what happened with, um, Twerk and Norbs prior to the, the, the evening prior to the, to the battle? You know, my, yeah, my heart goes out to Norbs, you know, hope he's doing well. Um, you know, I just think that was, like, no matter what, that was extre extremely disrespectful. And for it to happen at such a, a large venue event um, on the, on the premiere of, you know, their, their collaboration with Caffeine. Um, I think it was very, um, not, it was not a good move. Just, it wasn't a good move. That was, no matter what, you know what I'm saying? Like, no matter what. So, I was watching, um, Smack and Beasley's interview on, um, 15 Minutes of Fame, and, um, they were talking about, you know, that there will be repercussions that they could, that they had to allow the battle to occur because of the contracts that they had signed, you know, as far as the business and, and, you know, just with everything involved. So they had to, you know, allow the battle to happen, but they are talking about repercussions. I 
I don't know. I have no idea what happened. I have no idea what happened. I, from what I'm hearing, there was a Facebook post that was made by Norbs saying, I'm tired of hitting Twerk's baby mama or something to that effect. Don't quote me. Um, but nobody, I, I don't know, and nor do the people who told me about this know when that post was made. Was it during the time that him and Norbs were, you know, just like had a different type of relationship and, you know, talk shit to each other, type of playful shit or what? Like, I have no idea. I have no idea. But in any case, um, that was not the right place. It was in very poor taste. So. Mm hmm. And. But like I said, I don't like we don't know if it was, you know, in playful banter type of, you know, s stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, why would somebody post s something like that saying that? You know what I'm saying? Like, just, you know, like, I, I don't I don't know. I I have not been in battle rap long enough or have am familiar. I'm not familiar enough with it to be able to say what, um, you know give more insight to it but um i just i do believe that it it was not that was not the right place for it yeah there's like major business and contracts and everything on the line you know what i'm saying like it was hmm so I mean, Twerk did, you know, have some some bars, you know what I'm saying? I just didn't think it was enough. Um, I, I don't know. To me, like for me, like this, it, it, it's exciting for me because um, I've been, you know, just watching past battles and whatnot and um, learning stuff from TRBRC and whatnot and... Um, just really paying attention. So for for this um, battle to be the first live battle I watched, um, and it just happened to be the battle in which URL um, collaborated with um, Caffeine. You know, it just, it really excited me to be able to, you know, for that to be my first live um battle so um you know it was you know there's just a lot it was a lot and it was really fun it was a lot of fun well that's um yeah i i i gave um i gave geechee that that's what i that's what i did um a lot of people gave him that um saying that twerk got 30 um but twerk didn't look twerk looked like he was um like his mind was preoccupied with other things um and i don't know if it had to do with what happened with norbs or you know what i'm saying like I, there was um his delivery wasn't um it, it just wasn't there for me so even though, you know, yes, bars, he did have some bars. Um, it just wasn't enough. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't convincing to me. So, um, I, I gave it to Geechee, um, 3-0. Um, I do understand what Twerk is saying. Um, when he says, you know, at, at the end of the second round, they were saying it was 1-1. One, one. So it, how can you go from 1-1 one, one to 3-0? Oh? Like, where does that happen? So he's, he's very perplexed with that. Because a lot of people, like the people in the audience there um, at the event were saying 1-1. One, one. And then how does it go from 1-1 one, one to 3-0? Oh? So I don't know, you know. Just can't wait till they, um, um, till they, um, 
drop it, you know, so it, we can rewatch it. I, I really want to watch the probably how many battles did I miss? Maybe four battles I missed in between the first and the main event, you know. But it's all, you know, it's going, they're going through a, gro a period of growth and through growth, you're going to have, you know, um, you're going to be like the, the bugs and the issues are going to present themselves. So, you know, thankfully, um, they were able to figure out what the issues were to be able to um, bump the quality up towards the end of the battle and now next time they know exactly what to expect i don't um i really don't believe that caffeine was ready for the attention they said that the numbers were crazy insane um i just don't think that they were ready for the um for the attention and the number of people who are truly interested in battle rap to come through like like we did it was pretty dope i really liked that that was really cool i gotta go to the grocery store um i gotta go grab some laundry detergent do you see how after i smoke i'm effective like I want to get up and I want to go do stuff like so I can like, do my chores and you know stuff like that like I just smoked I'm not wanting to freaking lay down and play games or let's see maybe we should play with makeup instead just kidding <laughs> but not really let's see see which one is this this is the cat on d uh let's see and this is the koki Ooh, that's kind of dry don't want dry on our freaking does it see and i smoke indica and indica is the one that like it's you know more relaxing more um sedating but it motivates the shit out of me I love that it makes me feel so much better you know what I'm saying it like it truly helps my pain to where it makes me feel good enough that I want to get up and go do shit you know so I've been working um, on getting packed up and um, organized and um, filtering through, you know, stuff and just getting rid of stuff, um, going through the kids' clothes. Like, they have a ton of clothes. Like, that's one thing my kids... Hold on one second. Hello? 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 Who's this? Oh, hi, Jenny. Lucinda, hi. Um, what's going on? What are you doing? Are you guys still at school? Okay, baby. I'll do that. All right, you're welcome. All right, bye, be safe. That was my daughter's friend. Why do I make those faces? I make such weird faces. Let's see. So yeah, Intica is definitely the way to go. It does, it helps with my pain. A great deal and then with my friends being here um, she's been like working and massaging my shoulder and whatnot um, and that's been helping a lot and my back like 
she had my shoulder and back feeling so great for the first time in forever I can't remember well since last year it's almost been a year that um, that I've had pain in this damn shoulder so but she's been working on it and um, it helped a lot it really did yeah and it really does indica does help it with help me with that too helps relieve the stress like my kids are screaming going crazy fuck that I need to smoke me a blunt A little darker. <laughs> yeah, it like sometimes it'll sedate me. Well, I guess it just depends. Like if I'm already, you know, in for the night and, you know, I've already had a full day of, you know, doing work and um, chores and errands and all that stuff then then it'll definitely sedate me but during the daytime it just motivates me and it just helps me feel better and well enough to actually get up and be productive like be amongst the living you know what I mean let me see how's that eyebrow look what do you guys think can you tell the difference a little bit not much I don't want it to like freaking um, I don't want to look like angry birds you know Comadre tells me, she's like, oh God, I can't stand when girls make their eyebrows look like angry birds. <laughs> angry birds is one, and what was the other one? What is the other one people compare? Like those block eyebrows to. Hilarious. I'm excited for this month, you guys. There's so much happening, so much going on. Can't wait. Cannot wait. Can not wait. Watch out for Friday the 13th, though. Just watch. And if you're going to come to Tucson, you should come on Friday the 13th. Just saying. Just suggesting. I already got VIP open bar all that type of shit for my area um i got you on the on the walk-in got you in the vip like i got you if you're gonna come to tucson do it on um on friday the 13th this event is gonna be like no fucking other you guys don't want to miss this one.
How do those eyebrows look? Hey, they do. I don't. I did pretty decent. Not too shabby. I don't typically do my eyebrows very much. Oh, these eyebrows look so good, you guys. Ta-da! Cute. I'm impressed. Good job, Mei Ling. See the things I can accomplish when I'm smoked out? Shout out to Aunt. <laughs> Smoked out. Let's put some of this makeup away. Go to the store. I think I'm going to start extreme couponing, you guys, too. Like, I've been doing my budget lately and, like, making and or actually spending a lot less so that you can invest more like spending a lot less on your on your living expenses so that you can invest a lot more so fucking fun sometimes it doesn't work out that way like last month you know, I was ready to be, you know, financially ahead and whatnot. And then my car broke down. So I had to get that fixed. But now that's um, fixed. I still have other stuff that I'm going to get done on it um, so that it can be, um, you know, I can bring it like get it in tip top shape. It's a great car, they told me. So I just really want to work on getting that um, into tip top shape. Um, just need to tune up and, you know, simple stuff like that. Um, and then... Um, but so I was, you know, already looking forward to being, you know, in a better financial position last month, the car broke down, but now things are looking up, um, and, um, plans have been made, um, going to be, um, a lot of things, a lot of things are coming, a lot of things are coming, but again, if you want to, um, get out here for this event well i suggest that you get out here for this event it's going to be a great event it's going to be a great event um march 13th friday march 13th tucson az team smoke team smoke um doo -doo -doo. also if any artists are wanting to come to Tucson to um, perform, um, you know, just for the um, exposure aspect of it, let me know um, because I have some people who, um, you know, I mean, you might not get, I mean, you may get a little bit of money or, you know what I'm saying, like something, but it's mainly for the exposure um, you know, I could probably, um, you know, help look for the best, um, time and, you know, whatnot as far as, um, plane tickets, X, Y, and Z, but, um, there's a major movement going on out here right now, like several movements, but, you know, if you're interested, get with me, let me know because I got you. And, I mean, even if you're in another city, I um, have um, contacts through, um, through a lot of different places. So, um, you know, let me know if you're ready to work. Yeah, 
When you go, are you gonna go to the store anytime soon? Yeah. Uh, can you get me a nail glue, please? I couldn't find yeah. it. All right. Because this motherfucker keeps doing that, and I. Why do balls hurt? What? Um, yeah, I gotta go to the store. <laughs> she had no clue I was telling her. <laughs> okay, so anyway, get your asses out here. Um, March 13th, Friday. Um, let me find the, oh my God, is it gonna be on this phone? Do I, did I download the my Facebook to this app? Let's see. Mailing them. Here we go. God, I have to log into it. I don't want to log. I don't know my login situation. Anyway, the text over here. I don't know what this is. Um, oh, I feel like eating mariscos. Um, so, anyway. So, yeah. If you guys check out um, Young, he does um, he does reviews on different uh, a bunch of different strains. Very knowledgeable. Great show. Um, looking for um, showcases like on YouTube um, go to Ant Team Smoke um, let's see who else make sure you guys follow Crown TV all his channels that he has going on on IG as well Crown TV what is it now Crown TV courts, okay, and then in like you'll be able to find the links in the descriptions to his other channels. Um, shoot on over there, you get all the um, like court documents, like stuff that's going on. A lot of it in the hip hop industry. Um, like he covered the Takashi Six Nine case, the AR Ab case. He's talking you know about what's going on with star brim and her case um and he gives um all the details he gives the like the court documents the black and white doesn't give his opinion extremely unbiased um and um you know just a lot he he educates you on what the law is saying what the paperwork is saying he's breaking things down um, in a way that we can understand that way people can come up with their own conclusion about what they what they feel you know is being said in that paperwork so um, okay Mm. Those albondigas smell so good. Do you guys want to go see the soup? Let's go check out the soup. Ooh. Can you hear me snap, crackle, and pop every time I get up? Every time I move. Let's go get some albondigas. Do, do, do. Is it wet? Uh, or just that little spot right there. I'm on okay. those. I'm wearing socks. I didn't want to step in wet. Hold on. Hold on. 
How do I flip the camera? That's soup. It's meatball soup, but it's ground turkey. It is so yummy. Super yummy. Get myself a bowl. In dinner yet? Sorry, it's so bright. Hold on a second, guys. Mm. Let me take some of this um, grease out. This fat. This layer of fat. On the... Like, you gotta skim the fat from the, the top of the soup. Trust me, you want to do this stuff. You could even do it like while it's boiling and cooking. Because um, it's like a foamy consistency almost. Let's see. Okay, that's a lot better. Did you put any chile or anything in it? No. Huh? Did you put any chile or anything Just in like it? Just like the Anaheim. The what? Anaheim. Oh, oh yeah. I'm that shit up. I don't need something. I didn't really taste it. Oh, I haven't tasted it yet. Okay. I'm sure it's phenomenal yeah, because it, it smells phenomenal. Let's see. Let's see how this tastes. Oh, yeah. No, the kit. Well, no, I just put some in my bowl. Yeah, they could put some if they want, but they love ah! they love ah! What? Wow, did you hit yourself? I'm just going to fucking take it out. That keeps happening and it, you know that. Feels? It's not worth it. Just take, take it off. Off. Just, just take it off. Just take it off. Just take it off. Just take it off because, yeah, Ugh. you're going to keep hurting yourself. Girl, you know how that feels. Yes, it's oh. fucking painful. Woo. How does it do a Her nails, yeah. Just oh my give goodness. your nails a break. No, hell no. Well, no, for right now, because oh, with, one, with yeah, them short, like that's with them messed up like that, yeah. I got the pretty little Asian hands. So, um, nail glue, you can must. Um, a beer. A beer? Okay. Let me finish. Let me eat, and then yeah. no way. Mm. Do, do. Let's sit on the bed just because my back is so irritated. Oh, Lord. You guys want some hot tamales? Mm. 
<clears throat> I like hot tamales. Let's see. So, what did you guys do this weekend? What did you guys do this weekend? Wow, that dog sounded like he was startled. Startled. Okay. So it has rice, it has vegetables, so it has, um, I guess, an Anaheim chili, it has celery, carrots, long grain rice, onions, tomato. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And ground turkey. It's super yummy. Mm, that's the perfect spice too. I put some crushed pepper in mine. Mm -mm -mm, mm -mm -mm. Oh, it has some cilantro. Um, what else? It's really good. Fine, fine, fine. Very good, very good, very good. Mmm. Carrots. So yummy. Perfect for today, too, since it's, um... Kind of like gloomy out. Mm -mm -mm. Look what I got. Isn't that cute? It's so like squishy. And it has a horn. So I got it. I thought it was cute. I actually want to give it to my glam baby. But my glam baby's a boy. Mm -hmm. And this is pink. Look at what it does. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I like that stuff. I like those type of things. Let's see. What other errands do I have to run and do today? What else do I got to do today, guys? I don't even know. I've had about three calls from the hospital and the cardiac, um, the cardiac team today. They're gonna set up a tilt table test for me. And then they're going to set up, oh, I have, I have other stuff. I have to go to the pacemaker clinic. Mm. It's a lot.
sometimes I just get tired of doctors and medicines and it just gets frustrating and overwhelming because I mean I know I'm gonna be okay no matter what but it's just hard you know emotionally it's really hard That's about it. I have a stack of paperwork for court. Um, just, I don't see the point in allowing somebody I don't see the point in um, if somebody doesn't want to be a part of their children's lives you shouldn't you shouldn't feel the need to force them which I don't. Hold on a second. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. That was my daughter. Um... Sorry. Mm. But the thing about that is the kids still expect him to, you know? They don't understand yet. And it's really difficult. because it's either a constant game or a constant excuse. And my children's are the, my children are the ones suffering. So I requested that um I'm able to move my children out of this county. I have sole custody, by the way. But there is a court order stating that um, neither of us can move the children out of Pima County, which is the county that we live in. And due to my health and other aspects of life, um, I'm looking to moving out of Pima County. And um, build a um, build a home in which I know my children will be safe in because I will be being taken care of 24 7 they'll be with me 100 percent. like i'm not trying to ditch my kids to never that um but i asked if you would just um willingly sign this paper agree agreeing to um me moving them out of pima county because he never comes for them any anyway 
He never he doesn't have meaningful relationships with them. He shows no interest in them. And they expect him to com- to come for th- them. And he lets them down every single time. A lot of the times, the majority of the time. Um he simply has no desire and I that's okay that that I'm not trying to change that just allow my children to have some kind of normalcy where they're not expecting something in which they're going to be devastated every single time or the majority of the time allow them to have um a normal life allow them to have like just stop fucking with them you know that's it or I'm not asking you to give a shit about me because I give a rat's ass but you need to understand that should I go into cardiac arrest here and my kids are here? Do you know how how awful that's going to be for them? Or they come home from school and find me? Like, I know that can happen anyway, but I believe just creating an environment for them that somebody is going to be there not only to help me, but to help them as well. So, um, you know, I asked him to take that into consideration. I told him either way, like if he um, wants to fight me on it, um, that's not an issue. Um, I, I'm fully prepared to um, um, take it to court um, and present all the evidence. Um, cause there's mountains of, ev- of evidence, you know, that he absolutely wants nothing to do with these children. Um, and I'm trying to give them a life to where they know for a fact that people are going to be in their lives and they're never going to leave. Not just mom, you know? I've always told him, you can come pick up the kids whenever you want. You can keep them when, how, for however long you want. Just make sure you bring them back to me. You know? If you want to split weeks, we can split weeks. You want to do one week on where you have them, and a week where I have them, that's fine with me. They need you. But if you just go for nine whole months without... seeing them picking them up at all nine months like you can go nine whole months living 20 minutes up the street it doesn't make sense to me and I'm not trying to figure it out I just want you to put them first and sign this legal document so that I can give my children a life that they deserve that's it I don't hate you I have no emotion for you I don't think of you in high regards he's allowed our children to be physically hurt by somebody and made excuses for it instead of protecting our children I'm not okay with that so hmm. soup is yummy
That was yummy. Holy smoke. That was delicious. Muy delicioso. Team smoke, team smoke. What's popping? Oh my god, that, sh that soup was so fucking good. Maria? Maria? Yeah. You're hired. Hold on, I can't hear you. You're hired. The who? You're hired. Oh, I know, here. This I shit is this. fucking oh, good. Oh, I'm you know what? Did you Holy like shit. Taste that turkey too much. Oh my god, are you kidding we me? We could uh, start doing a little bit of weights in the okay. while we stretch up with stars. You want to take this Ready? over there? I'll take you. Can I get a fucking order? Yeah. yeah. Come so in. So I can move swiftly. Come Is get that it. Cool? Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm Come get it. Right. Right. Um, no, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm glad they're good. Because yeah, turkey, I had already broke it for you. Just the smell of turkey. Uh huh. Be like, Ugh. oh my god, dude. Oh, it is delicious. Did you eat some of it? Yay. Did you eat some? I just tasted the Mmm, girl. Oh my god, you should, you need to fucking, you need to eat, it's so good. Where's Anthony? Where's Anthony? Got some weights. I don't know. <laughs> What's this mustard doing up here? Oh, like, I was them. eating the, yeah. I was eating corn dogs. You're like one of them now. I know, right? <laughs> I was eating corn dogs. Corn dogs, schmorn dog. Mm-hmm. I think I'm going to take a quick shower before they get here. Yeah, I'm going to run across okay. to grab some stuff. Oh, uh, thank you very much. Uh -huh. Okie dokie smoking. All right. Okie dokie smoking. See you later. All right. Okay. Mm. So, yeah. That food. Delicious. Delicious. She says she doesn't like the ground turkey, but she didn't try the ground turkey. She tasted the, the juice from the soup. Um, and she liked that, but she said when she was making it, she just didn't like the ground turkey issue. But once she eats, like, trust me, like, she's going to get used to ground turkey soon enough. Because it ain't going to be happening with red meat up in here. It's just poison. That, this shit's poison. Like, all this stuff is poison anyway. But this is, it feels like less of a poison somehow. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> I had some food and some chili flakes in my teeth. Okay, good. <laughs> hey, what's up? How's it going? Those are some big eyes of yours. <laughs> Just kidding. Who are you? Hello, how are you? Let me see. Oh, you like battle rap. Oh, you're cooling. <laughs> Did you watch the battles last night? Yesterday?
you're cooling, you're cooling. Cooling, cooling. You did? Nice. Nice. So I was only able to watch the um, the JJ Chess battle and the Twerk Geechee battle and the Twerk Norbs battle. That's all I was able to watch. The app was crashing severely, but I ended up finding out towards the end, Caffeine ended up dedicating all of their servers um, to URL. Um, so like when I jumped back in and it was the, the, main, um, the main battle, it was seamless from that point for me. I don't know if it was seamless prior to that, but it was for the the main battle. So out of okay, so I didn't see any of the RBE battles. So out of the JJ and Chess um, battle and the Twerk and Geechee battle, who do you got in both of those? Let's see, 409. Yeah, I gotta run across the street. It was definitely a weak cup of coffee. JJ21, maybe 30, and Gotti 30. Really? Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I got JJ, um, probably the same, 2-1, um, Gotti, 3-0, absolutely. Um, I see what, um, Twerk was saying with, um, like he had some bars, it just wasn't enough for me, his delivery wasn't there. He seemed like he was too much in his head. Um, like he just didn't deliver any round specifically for me. So, yeah, it, exactly, exactly. And it kind of seemed like he was just, it seemed like he kind of just gave up at, you know, at the end of the rounds, you know, and they were short rounds and just, it just wasn't, like it wasn't, like, I mean, like he had some bars, like don't get me wrong, he had some bars, but it just, the delivery, just the whole, it just wasn't, it wasn't there for me. Not the way that Geechee's was and um, yeah, it was pretty cool. I really enjoyed it and that was my first live battle I was, um, I caught, so that was pretty cool. Um, who twerk twerk depends on the crowd too much is that what you're saying like oh, okay well if you depend on the crowd you need to like I don't know like you need to like deliver it to them in a way that they will have a you know natural positive response you know what i'm saying and it just that performance just wasn't he was saying that he hadn't slept in three days and you know no excuses you know this is battle rap you know bars over everything yeah he be so unprepared he need them to stop him so he can catch up with his material it seemed and he said that he was bouncing around his material that he was going from like he would say something then he would freestyle then he would go somewhere else and then he'd pop back up this way you know with his stuff so his 
his um, rhymes were all over the place. There was just no consistency or continuity that I can really just give him any round. And I see what he's saying because I also see what he's saying because pe he said that people in the crowd were saying that at the end of the second round, it was 1-1. One, one. And he said, so how do you go from 1-1 one, one to 3-0? Like, that doesn't make sense. So I, un I understand that. I I'd be confused as fuck too, you know? if that's what I was hearing in the crowd. Yeah, Gichi was good. Gichi was good, he definitely 30 them. Like, in my opinion. Definitely. So, it was, it was great. It was great. How do you feel about the work and Norb's situation the night before the event. Sorry, my brows are natural and I like them to be like combed and like nice and like fluffy and 40 cal did good versus, li versus ill will too. And Team Smoke, oh shit, Team Smoke, Team Smoke, Ants Live. Um, um, I wish I would have caught that one. I wish I would have caught the Arsenal battle. Didn't catch that either. Yeah. I'm gonna share this to you. Um, I mean, I, I understand that, um, but I do believe that, um, it was disrespectful and I don't think that that was the place for it, especially when they were just, um, that was the, um, premiere of URL and, um, caffeine you know, collaborating, so, um, Ant just went live, so I'm going to, um, end mine, it's already been an hour and 45 minutes, so, and I gotta run to the store, so, no wonder my shoulder's hurting, no wonder my back's hurting, but, yeah, thanks for joining me, y'all, and we'll be back to talk some more stuff, that shit, crossing the line, I end, you know what, I, I feel ya, but it should have happened somewhere else. The level of disrespect, the, it just, that, that wasn't necessary. And to like handle that shit internally behind closed doors, you know what I'm saying? Because this is something that, this was something huge for battle rap, you know? And um, for that to be, you know, part of the image, I, I don't believe that that they want that that you are that URL wants that to be a part of their image or their brand, you know what I'm saying? And they are talk, talking about um, handing down repercussions and whatnot. Um, you know, I'm not. I don't know if we're going to learn. You know the what those repercussions are or whatnot. But um, just that that was not cool. That was not cool whatsoever. That was very disappointing. You know, and like I said, this was my first, um, my, like, me really being introduced into my first um, live battle rap event, even though it was over, um, you know, an app. Um, just everything building up to that, I've been I've been learning a lot about battle rap. So um, I've been in the industry myself for over two decades. Um, so and battle rap is something that's always um, 
caught my interest but never something that I paid a lot of attention to up until um, last year and you know I'm, I've learned a lot I've, I'm excited to continue to learn and and grow and build and you know continue to create within the industry you know what I'm saying so but I'm gonna somebody's kicking a bar pole or something out there it sounds weird um, anyway I'm gonna head out I'm gonna head over to Ant's channel you guys um, click the link that's his live right now make sure you subscribe to his um, channel he does um, music showcases um, one of the one of the series is called smoked out and that's more of the hip-hop r&b vibe and then the other series that he has is called um smoke sessions and that's um more of an um r&b r&b vibe did i just say that right i'm high smoked out is the hip-hop and rap smoke sessions is the r&b okay let's get that right get it straight but anyway, make sure you guys head on over to there. If you guys have any music you guys want to um, submit to have um, premiered on um, any of his showcases, or you're interested in bat in um, in battling in you know a battling in battle rap, you know, hit me up. I'm um, starting my own league called Dragon's Lair. Um, let me get the the. Um, link for that and I will put that in the description or in the comments that way you guys can sub to that channel as well S same thing on um, Instagram All right, but I'm gonna head out. Make sure you guys um, subscribe to that page, that YouTube page, channel, and um, let's do work. Let's get to work. All right, you guys have a good one. Gotta run to the store, gotta go grab some stuff, gotta do some laundry, and X, Y, and Z. My kids will be coming home in about half an hour. I will check you guys out. Thanks for joining me. Have a good one. Peace.